Hello friends, welcome to 20 fingers 2 brains. In this video, we are going to show how to bind an array to a grid view. So let's start with our example. In Visual Studio, we have a project grid view examples. In that project, we have added a page grid view example 5.aspx. In the designer mode of the ASPX page, we have taken three grid views, single for one for single dimension array, second for two dimension and third for multi dimension array. To add this grid view on the ASPX page, you can go to the toolbox, select the grid view and drag drop and change the ID. The ID can be changed from the source. Like for the first grid view, we have given grid view sing GV single array gv double array and gv multi array there's a caption we have added a caption like single dimension array two dimension array and three multi dimension array that caption is visible above the grid view for example for single dimension array we have single dimension array above the columns of the grid view same goes for two dimension array and same goes for multi dimension array so let's create the arrays in code behind to bind these grid three grid views to the arrays if we go in the c sharp part of this page we have three methods bind single dimension array to grid bind 2d array to grid and bind multi dime array to grid so let's first go to the first method bind single dime array to grid press f12 and here we have this in this what we have done is we have created a string array and in that string array we have added six entries after that what we have done is we have transformed that array to a data table so first we create array then we create a data table object and in that data table objects we've added a column as name so what we are trying to do is we are trying to move all this array elements to the data table so using the for loop so inside the for loop we are getting the count of the array whatever the count of the array is we are adding those records in the data table rows we are taking the records from the array and moving it to the data table and finally we are binding the data table to the data source of the grid view and finally we are calling the data bind method which is binding the data to the grid view on the ASPX page. Let's move towards our next method bind 2D array. In, in case of 2D arrays, we have created two elements, two dimension array list. And using the same methodology, which we have used for the first, ar first single dimension array, we are moving all the 2D array list elements to the data table having two columns first is name second is education using the same for loop everything is same now goes to the third method multi dimension when we go to the multi dimension array what we have is name then the qualification then we have the age and the the designation where the person is working so here we have multi dimension array then we have taken four columns name Im, education age and designation the same way we are transferring all the elements from the data table inside the data table and finally binding it to the grid view so let's put a breakpoint and here and let's start debugging this project So let's press F11. So here we have it. So if we check the elements of this array, it has got six elements. Now if we check the elements of the data table, it's just having a name column without any data. So let's for the first row, the first element is added for the second row, the second element is added. Now after this, we can move Now all the elements are added when we can check the data table and it's having all the elements. The same way we can put a breakpoint over here for grid view second array and grid view multi-dimensional array. 
so if we check this we have got the two columns one for name second for education and that is getting mandated to the the third one is having data table it's having all the four columns and finally let's press f5 and we have all the records from the array being shown in a grid view so this was the tutorial about binding array to a grid view using data tables for more videos you can visit 20 fingers to brains channel on youtube also you can visit our blog 20 fingers to brains blogspot.com thanks for watching goodbye